My name is Harvey James. I'm an agricultural economist at the uh, University of Missouri. Uh, I am uh, studying the uh, risk and benefits of introducing genetically modified cassava in Kenya. Uh, our project involves a variety of elements. So we are, we've interviewed a variety of stakeholders uh, in Kenya, uh, scientists, uh, regulators, uh, NGO officials, uh, and others uh, to get an idea of what uh, they understand about uh, genetically modified cassava and about biotechnology, uh, about how uh, uh, how likely they think uh, that uh, the crop or biotechnology will be adopted. Uh, we have uh, conducted an analysis of uh, Kenya uh, newspaper articles uh, between the years 2010 and uh, 2014, uh, looking at how uh, Kenya media reports on uh, biotechnology issues. And then we have also engaged uh, a variety of uh, projects uh, looking, uh, talking to farmers, uh, farmer groups uh, in uh, different areas uh, of Kenya uh, to uh, understand how important uh, cassava is to them and also to learn uh, what they know about uh, genetic modification uh, and uh, how they uh, uh, see the potential of uh, genetically modified cassava in, uh, in affecting them. Uh, some of the things that we've learned is that uh, uh, stakeholders uh, generally think that uh, farmers would be willing to adopt uh, a genetically modified cassava. Um, the, uh, they've also indicated that uh, it is important that that uh, people and institutions that farmers trust understand what uh, the technology is and are able to communicate that to, to the farmers. Uh, in our uh, study of Kenyan newspapers, uh, we've looked at the number of times that uh, newspaper articles uh, referred to uh, risk uh, and benefits of uh, genetically modified uh, uh, crops. Uh, and we compared uh, the, uh, the number of times that risks and benefits are mentioned to a representative sample of international newspapers. And, and we found that uh, uh, media in uh, Kenya uh, tends to uh, report more on uh, uh, the risk of uh, biotechnology. Um, in our uh, work with uh, smallholder farmers and engaging in, uh, uh, with them in focus groups, uh, we've learned uh, that uh, uh, farmers uh, generally do not have a very good understanding of what uh, biotechnology is. Um, and uh, we've also learned uh, that it is important to uh, work with smallholder farmers in framing uh, the, the kind of research uh, that scientists uh, engage in uh, so that scientists are doing the work that uh, farmers need uh, for them so that uh, smallholder farmers can, can improve their lives and uh, uh, make things better for themselves.